decided that my first body paragraph was too long and it actually is, um, it has three big ideas and each body paragraph should really only have one big idea. So when I decided to edit it, I also realized that the thesis statement could be more specific. So I am going to change this to make it a different thesis statement. So I'm deleting this right here. I'm deleting uses language and literary devices. I'm adding an S here. I'm going to paste that uses language and literary devices here because I'm not totally deleting it. I'm just changing its position. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put this here because I'm going to change this and it's going to become my new thesis statement. So I'm changing this to Quan Berry uses language and literary devices to establish I'm deleting her first name because after I've introduced her with her first and last name I use only her last name. So now I have this thesis statement, Barry uses language and literary devices to establish key themes, the enduring personal toll that war takes on individuals, the historical impact of the Vietnam conflict, and the power of internalized rage. This is a really good thesis statement for this essay because I already have an essay structure in my thesis statement. It's a three-part thesis statement. So the first body paragraph will talk about this part, the enduring personal toll that war takes on individuals, the second body paragraph will talk about the historical impact of the Vietnam conflict, and the third body paragraph will talk about the power of internalized rage. So now I have to change this to the first line of Quan Berry's poem, Napalm, includes the sentence. And then I'm going to make this it's another body paragraph, but I still need a topic sentence, which I will add later. So you can see um, I will probably make this a little bit longer. And I will make this one perhaps a little bit longer. But as it is now, I only need one more piece of evidence um, for my third body paragraph. 